We are with Annika Sorenstam and we are at the Annika Collegiate. And uh, Annika, let's first talk about the award in your name and then the <laughs> tournament. I mean, this is pretty special for college golf. Well, it is special and special for me because I play college golf and uh, golf is certainly close to my heart. And, and I wanted to get back to the game, grow the game and inspire these young these young girls to fulfill their dreams. So, yeah, for, for me to have my name on a, one of the Division I college tournaments in the country is very special. And we're going to give away an award, uh, Annika Award, to the, the female golfer that's been considered the best for the last season. You know, it's been voted by her peers and, and um, coaches and media. And uh, it's, uh, it's really terrific, uh, you know, just to, again, inspire them and share the passion. So, you know, we're, we're excited that uh, 3M is a sponsor because they do so much for, for, for women in general. And uh, we're excited about this week to get going. When you watch the young players of today, I mean, obviously there's a lot of talent out there. How is it? The depth is so much different than what it was in your day. Wouldn't you agree? Oh yes. I mean, I, I you know, thanks to Title IX, is you know, one of the reasons why you see more female athletes in general and at the different college levels. But also, you know, they they're very mature and you know they have coaches, ed educated coaches, and knowledgeable coaches at an early age. So you see them, even though they're just maybe 18, 19, or 20. Uh, you know, they're very mature young ladies and. Uh, you know, there's a lot of responsibilities for them, schoolwork and friends and then golf and then family. And, but they juggle things very, very well. And I mean, that's what I think golf is, uh, is amazing that way. You meet some incredible young individuals and, you know, we should be proud that these are ambassadors for the game of golf. Okay, let's take you back in time to your college days <laughs> in Arizona and uh, give us a great story, something you always remember. <laughs> well, well, you know, I'm sure like everybody who has gone through college, they have a lot of stories to share. Some they're proud of and some maybe they're not proud of. But I mean, I certainly remember the first uh, time I arrived in Tucson. Uh, I'd never been to, to Arizona before. I'd only been to Miami. So you can imagine the culture shock coming from Stockholm, Sweden to Tucson in August. It was extremely hot. I had two suitcases and a golf bag and, and I was put in a dorm and the dorm was, you know, the size of a, of a bathroom at home. I felt very claustrophobic early on. And, and, uh, but then, you know, I had some great teammates and uh, just enjoyed college life with all the friendship that you build and the opportunities. So yeah, it's, it's quite the, the change for a lot of us. Uh, you know, moving from home and maybe far away from home and, and being away from your, you know, from your near and dear. But uh, that's what life is about, growing up and, and have new opportunities. Well, you've had a great career. You certainly are a legend <laughs> and, and we're so happy you're giving back to college golf. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. It's my pleasure.